Hi there, so um, here we go again. This is the Kobo Vox. We're going to make several videos, one for each um, application. So, what we're looking at at the moment is going to be using the browser on the Kobo Vox. So, the inbuilt browser is one strangely called Browser. So, let's click him. Um, our internet connection is via my telephone uh, using Bluetooth. So, we're not going to get a great groovy Wi Fi connection. I don't have Wi-Fi where I'm filming at the minute, so I'm using my telephone. Um, click down here, we'll get um, bookmarks. Click on bookmarks, so we can go to um, let's have a look uh, the BBC site. Click on that, and we'll say we'll use a Dolphin browser. Okay, so the thing to note about the um, the browser that's built in when you first buy your Kobo Vox. It's a mobile browser. It, it would it would always go and try and pick up the mobile version of a website. Uh, and here we're looking at the mobile version, the BBC website, which is all great and wonderful. Um, yeah, a sort of it doesn't show off any pinch to zoom because it's obviously optimized for a mobile experience. Um, so okay, that's one way of doing things. Let's go back to home again. So. I've also gone off using um, our get apps thing here, uh, that one, and I picked up some extra browsers. So Dolphin browser is one of them. And we'll connect to Amazon. Let that come in. There we go. And you notice that because this is a um, this is a much more useful browser, I think, because this will try and um, bring in everything you need. Uh, we do have a very slow connection, so it is still currently loading. And uh, let's zoom out. Okay, so there's my whole page of Amazon.co.uk. Of course, we can always go landscape as well, or back to portrait if we tilt it. There we go, back to portrait and zoom out. Okay, so I'd say that's pretty cool. Uh, with the Dolphin browser, if you slide across here, you get your um, bookmarks. So these are my bookmark list down here, and you can click slide that across. And over here, slide that across. You can go um, full screen at the top, or you can add plugins. And I think that's probably tabs, or well, that might be tabs actually. But yeah, you can have tabbed browsing basically. Slide that back over again. Um, yeah, and that's that. So go back to home again. So that was a Dolphin browser. We've also got the Opera browser. And let that load up. I probably want to refresh down here. Let's refresh that one. There we go, that's coming in. Okay, and that's this is my site. Um doesn't this doesn't support some flash elements. There's a flash element here that's uh not coming in by the look of it. Nope. So the um the box is where the flash elements are stored are in, but there's no flash. So this is the opera browser. And uh, if we look here, we can see that we have bookmarks here. So there's my bookmarks, and I've also got my, if I click on here, I've got my Android bookmarks as well. So that's basically imported bookmarks with this. Okay, so that basically does that then. So we've looked at three browsers, the one that's built in with it, which is a mobile based browser. We've got the Dolphin uh, browser, which I quite like, and the upper browser that seems okay. Um, I believe the Dolphin browser should support Flash, although when I go to my site it doesn't show my Flash elements. So I think I might be missing a plugin, or I might need to upgrade it or turn something off in, in sort of settings, on and off in settings. So that sort of concludes that. So that's basically uh, what browser options can you put on your Kobo. Um, I would recommend Dolphin. Dolphin is pretty good to me. And that concludes that video. So uh, yeah, there you go. See you in a bit.